Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel, BM Squad Vlogs. This vlog is about how to screen record PowerPoint presentations, lessons, or video presentations using your smartphone. Since ina-anticipate na natin ang mga changes sa ating pagtuturo sa parating na new normal, itong video tutorial na ito ay maaaring magamit natin kapag kailangan nating mag-send ng mga recorded video lessons with face cam feature o yung parang makikita pa rin ng mga learners natin ang mga facial expressions natin habang nagtuturo. Itong video tutorial na ito ay feature natin ang paggamit ng isang app o AZ Screen Recorder app with face cam features for Android users only. Screen recording with Facecam app using your Android smartphone. Here are the things you need to set up or prepare before filming a video. Smartphone Wired or wireless earphones Tripod PowerPoint presentation Screen recording app and ring light is optional. So now, here are some reminders before you start filming. Prepare your content, script, or PowerPoint presentation. Select a suitable location for filming. Pwede kang pumesto malapit sa lugar na may natural light or kung wala kang ring light. And as much as possible, walang background noise ang lugar na ito. Set up your phone shot. Dapat ay nasa tamang height or eye level lamang ito. Connect your audio. Use your phone headset or wireless earphones para mas malakas o marino ang pagsasalita mo. And additional tips, make sure to have enough battery before recording, enough phone memory, and enable flight mode or do not disturb mode or turn off notifications. So before we proceed to the video tutorial on how to use Easy Screen Recorder app, uh, alamin muna natin kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin at gamit nito. Easy Screen Recorder is a free application that supports recording actions performed on the Android device screen. Good thing about using this app is that, aside from it is free, it is user-friendly, recordings have no time limit, there is no watermark, it has a face cam feature, and there is also a built-in editor. At marami pang ibang features na pwede ninyong makita at pwede ninyong ibahin na settings kapag nakita nyo na yung tutorial na gagawin natin mamaya. Make sure you already downloaded the AZ Screen Recorder app para masundan ninyo yung step-by-step -step procedure or yung tutorial na gagawin natin. And pag in-open natin yung AZ Screen Recorder na app, uh, mapapansin ninyo na magkakaroon ng color red na circle or small camera button sa kahit anong parte ng screen ng cellphone ninyo. So, uh, i-explain natin isa-isa kung ano yung mga buttons na makikita when you click that small camera button. Open na natin yung AZ Screen Recorder na app para makita natin yung mga features and settings. So, when you open the app, uh, meron kayong tatlong makikitang icon which is the videos, screenshots, and settings. So, isa-isahin natin. Of course, sa videos, doon malalagay or makikita yung mga tinik ninyong screen recordings with or without face cam. And sa settings, marami tayo ditong makikita na pwedeng baguhin like video configuration, control options, recording toolbox, and others. So, isa-isahin natin. So, default settings na lang yung ginagamit namin or hindi na namin binabago yung mga settings. So, depende pa rin yun sa inyo. So, eto yung mga settings na pwede mong baguhin sa Easy Screen Recorder app. So, sa video configuration, pwede mong baguhin yung resolution, yung frame rate, 
bitrate, orientation kung landscape or portrait, pero ang default na orientation sa app na ito ay auto, meaning automatic siya depende sa kailangan mo. At pwede mo ring i-change ang timelapse o yung bilis o bagal ng video, so naka-disable naman yan, pero ang mga options dito ay um, kung gusto mo na mas mabilis or gusto mo na medyo mabagal at naka-turn on yung record audio at kung saan masisave ang output or output directory at meron ding green screen na feature sa AZ Screen Recorder na app. Sa control option settings naman, you can hide the record window during recording. So, alimbawa gusto mo lang makita yung control recording sa notification bar, just turn on or enable this option. And then next is use magic button. So, ano ba yung use ng option na ito? Or ano ba ang mangyayari kapag tinurn on mo yung magic button? So, single tap to pause or resume. Or parang ito yung shortcut para mas mapadali yung screen recording mo. So, mag, pwede ka lang mag-single tap to pause or resume. And then, pwede kang mag-double tap to stop the video or the screen recording. Tapos, pwede ka naman mag-long touch to draw. Next naman, stop option. So, eto naman, ang gamit naman nito ay to stop when the screen is off. And then, stop on shake. Pwede mong i-shake lang yung phone mo para mas stop yung screen recording. And then, enable time limit. So, halimbawa, gusto mo lang ng 4 minutes, 5 minutes, or depende sa time limit na gusto mo. And then, meron din yung maglalagay ka ng time limit lang. Halimbawa, 10 minutes lang yung screen recording. So, automatic siya mag stop Next na option para sa control is yung disable pop-up window after screenshots. So, halimbawa, ayaw mo na magkakaroon ng pop-up window kapag nag-screenshot ka and then i-turn on mo lang to. Next naman is yung countdown before start. So, ito turn on natin to para magkaroon ng countdown muna bago mag-start yung screen recording. And then, the last one for the control options is yung countdown value. So, eto naman, binago ko to. Ginawa kong 5 seconds para medyo mas matagal bago mag-start yung screen recording. Pero ang default countdown value ay 3 seconds only. Sa recording toolbox settings naman, you will see the screenshot, camera, brush, text, and logo. So, pwede mo i-turn on and off itong mga to. So, syempre, alam naman na natin yung gamit ng screenshot. So, kailangan mo pang i-turn on ito para makapag-screenshot ka using the Easy Screen Recorder app. And then, kapag gusto mo ring lagyan ng face cam or camera, yung screen recording mo or yung video mo, kailangan mo muna i-turn on dito sa recording toolbox na option. And then, kapag gusto mo namang magsulat or gumamit ng brush while screen recording, kailangan mo i-turn on yung brush na option. And then, the last option for the recording toolbox is yung text and logo. So, ang makikita naman sa text and logo ay kagaya nitong nasa screen, yung AZ Screen Recorder. Pwede kang maglagay ng text sa screen mo while taking a video. So, yung text na yan ay pwede mong baguhin Depende sa kailangan. So, pwede kang maglagay dyan halimbawa ng topic mo kapag magtuturo ka sa mga students or sa mga learners natin. And then, pwede mo ring baguhin yung font, yung color, yung background color, and yung size. Pagdating naman dun sa logo, um, nakalagay din dito, makikita niyo sa screen, yung logo ng AZ Screen Recorder. So, pwede mo namang baguhin yan, pero ang mga pwede lang pong ilagay ay yung sticker. So, nasa sa inyo na po yun kung ano yung mga babaguhin nyo sa settings. And then, the last one is yung others if you want to remove the ads. Pero ang alam ko, pag tinanoon natin to ay um, kailangan na nating magbayad. Let's start the video recording lessons with Facecam. Go to settings and turn on the camera. Move the face camera on proper section of your screen. You may now open the prepared presentation. Run the slideshow and you may start the discussion proper. You may also utilize the brush tool. And if you are done, just click the red camera button and click stop. How to cut or edit your video recordings? First, go to AZ Screen Recording app. 
choose the video, then click the option button and click edit. The options for editing are the following. Trim video. Convert to GIF. Apply a frame. Crop video. Put background. Rotate. And add audio, text, and stickers.